The U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, has recently initiated a project to develop a new Quiet Spy aircraft. As part of DARPA's latest X-Plane program, the aircraft, designated XRQ-73, is engineered for intelligence-gathering missions and features an advanced quiet propulsion system. Also known by its program name Shepard, the XRQ-73 is being developed by Northrop Grumman and its subsidiary, Scaled Composites. As the Pentagon's newest experimental plane, what makes the XRQ-73's hybrid electric propulsion system an advancement in military aviation? In today's video, we'll explore everything we know about the XRQ-73 Shepard aircraft. Let's dive right in. Unveiled by DARPA and Northrop Grumman earlier this month, the Shepard vehicle carries the designation XRQ-73, X for experimental plane, R for reconnaissance, and Q for unmanned. This marks the 73rd official X-plane developed by the Department of Defense, continuing a legacy that began in 1946 with the Bell X-1 supersonic jet plane. Viewed as a step toward advanced autonomous aviation technologies in defense applications, the plane's designation highlights its purpose. It will be the U.S.'s latest unmanned spy plane. The Shepard name stands for Series Hybrid Electric Propulsion Aircraft Demonstration, indicating its unique feature. It will be the first known military aircraft to eliminate jet engines entirely, relying solely on electricity for propulsion, making it a move toward more sustainable aviation technologies. DARPA has not disclosed all of the specifications of the XRQ-73, but concept art has emerged online showing it as an aircraft with a twin-engine flying wing design, similar to the B-21 Raider stealth bomber, but without a fuselage, vertical stabilizers, or a cockpit. The XRQ-73 will be significantly smaller than a bomber, of course, classified as a Group 3 drone with a maximum weight of approximately 600 kilograms, or about 1,300 pounds. Its first flight is expected by the end of 2024. According to the Shepard program manager, the program was initiated in order to integrate emerging technologies and quickly develop new, long-endurance aircraft. The goal is to create a mission-ready aircraft that can be deployed swiftly and showcases the potential benefits of advanced propulsion systems. But what does this mean exactly? Let's break it down. We know that the key feature of the Shepard program is its hybrid electric propulsion system. Unlike traditional jet engines, which burn fuel to generate thrust through gas turbines, this system burns fuel to produce electrical power. This power then drives fans that create thrust. The advantage? The aircraft can operate more quietly, especially in critical phases of flight. Smaller drones often use batteries, but as drones grow larger, they typically need internal combustion engines for greater power and range. These engines are noisy, which can make drones easier to detect. Think of the Russian-Iranian Shahed-136 used in Ukraine, its loud noise often gives it away before it's even seen. American drones face similar issues. For instance, the RQ-7 Shadow, also a Group 3 drone like the XRQ-73, produces up to 99 decibels of sound. At its maximum altitude, this noise level is usually reduced to 13 decibels, but it is still detectable over long distances. The XRQ-73 addresses this problem by using its hybrid system to switch from noisy jet engine operation to silent electric operation as it approaches sensitive target areas. This capability allows it to fly quietly, enhancing its effectiveness in reconnaissance missions by reducing the chance of detection. But as we mentioned earlier, the Shepard program also focuses on advancing sustainable aviation technologies in defense applications. The hybrid electric propulsion system in the XRQ-73 reflects the Department of Defense's increasing emphasis on sustainability and efficiency. By integrating emerging technologies, the XRQ-73 will help reduce the environmental impact of military operations while enhancing overall performance, such as range and stealth. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. 
And if you found this video interesting, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.